In this question, we're told that Hannah is planning a trip for 195 students. She asks a sample of 30 students where they want to go, and each student chooses one place. Now the table below shows information about her results. And now we need to work out how many of the 195 students you think will want to go to the theme park. Now looking at our table, we can see that 10 students out of a sample of 30 students want to go to the theme park. And now to find how many of the 195 students you think will want to go to the theme park, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 6.5. Because 30 multiplied by 6.5 is equal to 195. And so we'll end up with 65 out of 195. And so we've used the fact that 10 students out of a sample of 30 students wanted to go to the theme park, and so using this multiplier of 6.5, we found that 65 students out of the 195 students will want to go to the theme park. And so we can write down our answer of 65. Now we need to state any assumption that we made and explain how this may affect our answer. Well now we assumed that this sample of 30 students represents everyone in the population of 195 students. And so we can write down that we assumed that this sample is representative. And so if the sample wasn't representative, our answer to part i would be wrong. Now this question is worth three marks. We get the one mark for doing 10 multiplied by 6.5 in order to find how many of the 195 students you think will want to go to the theme park. We get the second mark for getting the correct answer of 65. And we get the third mark for stating our assumption that the sample is representative and for saying that if the sample wasn't representative, our answer to part i would be wrong.